Oh, didn't see you there. Mitchell Griffith here with Griffith Goods and Spirits, and today, the gang's all here. We've got high society art types of riot juice, fight milk, and rum ham sandwiches coming at you today. As we always do, let's start with a cocktail. World Series, baby! Oh, yeah! Today, we've got our version of Riot Juice. You're gonna start off with a little bit of ice in your shaker. And then, we're gonna do two ounces of gin. We're gonna do a quarter ounce of our creme de violet. We're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of maraschino. And one ounce of fresh squeezed lemon juice. You're gonna lock your shaker together. Give it a fun shake. And then you're just gonna close strain. Now that we got our riot juice ready to go, we're gonna garnish it with a little bit of a lemon zest. And then you're gonna trim it up just by doing two horizontal slices and two diagonal slices. Fold it over and one slice through the middle. And you're ready to go. Oh, wait a second. What's ah! this? Now that our riot juice is done, time for some fight now. The first alcoholic dairy-based protein drink for bodyguards. Bye, bodyguards! We don't need that. We've got this. And... Ah! We've got protein. Ah! And milk. Ah! Made fresh by bodyguards. I'm sure you all are just as excited as I am that that bit is over. Now, let's actually make it. We're gonna do a handful of ice in our shaker. We're gonna do one and a half ounces of vodka. This is basically just a new take on a white Russian. We've got eight ounces of almond milk. And then we're gonna do one ounce of homemade vanilla syrup in here. And then we are gonna stick to the bit and keep the egg white. So what you're gonna wanna do is just separate your egg white. Now you're gonna wanna lock this in and just give it a nice little shake. I drink it every morning so I can fight like a crowd. The reason we're using egg white in this is because it's gonna add just a little bit of body to this cocktail. There's that. And then I'm gonna garnish it with just a little sprinkling of cinnamon. Watch your profits soar high as a crow! Oh, sorry. Now that we got our two cocktails done, we're gonna start on the glaze for our rum ham sandwiches. We've got half a cup of butter and one cup of brown sugar going in at about medium heat. And then we're gonna go ahead and just give it a stir and start incorporating all of that together. You wanna break down all of that brown sugar and all of that butter before you add your rum. Eating your drinks, that is genius. We're gonna go ahead and add four ounces of rum to this. And you're just gonna go ahead and keep giving this a good stir. We've got our glaze almost completely done. And as we've said in past episodes, the way to know if your glaze is done is if you can take it and draw a line in it in the back of a spoon. Now we're gonna pour this into a bowl and let it cool and we'll start on our ham sandwiches. 
What's that? You're supposed to get booze. Oh, this is ham soaked in rum. Now, we've got some Dave's Killer Bread here. The only bread for bodyguards. <laughs> now you're gonna wanna add some mayo to the outside of your bread. This might sound weird, but this is the perfect way for you to get a good crust on your bread. Now just drop it in your skillet. It's on about medium heat right now. And then we'll add some to the back side of it and start heating up our ham as well. Now that we've got our bread toasting up, I've got an applewood smoked cheddar and then a craft beer cheddar that we're gonna use in order to make this melt. But before we start adding any of the cheese, we wanna go ahead and lay a couple of our thick slices of ham in here just to get a little bit browned up. Where's the rum ham? As our bread finishes toasting, we're gonna give it just a quick flip so that the sides are warm. We're gonna add our craft beer cheddar, staying in the little bit of the mood of Patty's Pub. We're gonna add that to both sides of the sandwich, just so that that can go ahead and start melting. And then we're gonna add our smoked cheddar to both sides of the sandwich as well. And then, as you can tell, we've got our ham a little bit toasted. We're gonna toss that on top of the cheddar and give it just a good brush with our glaze to give it that good rum ham taste. Here's the secret to getting the perfect grilled cheese. So, you're gonna scoot your bread all the way to one side of the pan. We've got about, I don't know, quarter ounce of water. We're gonna add that in and just close it up. It's gonna allow all that cheese to melt without getting your bread soggy. We've got our fight milk. We've got our riot juice. We've got our rum ham sandwich. Now you're ready for a whole day of ocular pat downs and bodyguarding.